Praise God! What did Jesus say about the resurrection? Welcome to Bible on the Go with Dr. Dan. In John chapter 11, there is a wonderful story recorded that's only in the book of John. It's the story about Mary and Martha and their brother Lazarus. Now, Mary and Martha's brother, Lazarus, was sick. And so they sent word to Jesus because Jesus does miracles. And it got to him in time. Jesus heard the message and didn't go anywhere. He said, listen, this sickness is not unto death, but to reveal the glory of God. Well, when they finally arrived at Bethany, Lazarus was dead. And he wasn't just kind of dead. He was completely dead. He'd been dead four days. Now, Martha, who had been the Martha that had complained to Jesus on another occasion that Mary wasn't helping her with the dinner preparations, she was first out of the gate to come to Jesus and say, Lord, if you'd been here, my brother would not have died. And then uh, Jesus said, I will raise him up. And Martha said, I know that he that there's gonna he's gonna be raised on the, the last day. And Jesus looked at her and said, Martha, I am the resurrection and the life. He that believed me, though he were dead, yet shall he live. And then, of course, the rest of the story is that Jesus actually called Lazarus up from the dead and raised him from the dead. But the question is, what else did Jesus talk about when he talked about the resurrection? This event was actually a powerful object lesson. It actually happened, but the object lesson, the truth is, the statement of Jesus, whoever believes in me, though he were dead, yet shall he live? And then he raises Lazarus from the dead? Well, this is a powerful concept, that if you believe in Jesus, you have hope for all eternity. When else did Jesus talk about the resurrection? Well, he did in a lot of places, but in particular, in John chapter 6, he gives this principle that I want to read to you. It's in John 6, 39 through 44. And this is the will of him who sent me. Jesus makes it so clear that this isn't just a side note. It's not just a... Um, a thing that you also get if you become a Christian. No, this is the will of him that sent, sent me, um, that I shall lose none of those he has given me. And he says, but raise them up at the last day. A very important phrase. Raise them up at the last day, like at the end of the world. And so then he goes on to say, for my Father's will is that everyone who looks to the Son and believes in him shall, be, shall have eternal life, and I will raise him up at the last day. That's the second time he says it. And then he goes on to say, at this the Jews began to grumble about him because he said, I'm the bread that came down from heaven. They they said, is this not Jesus, the son of Joseph? What in the world is he saying these things? Whose father and mother we know? How can he say, how can he say I came down from heaven? And then Jesus said in John chapter 6, verse 43, Stop grumbling among yourselves, Jesus answered. No one comes to me can come to me unless the Father who sent me draws them. So God by his spirit, draws the person, makes the person aware that they need Christ, and then they come to Jesus. And then he says the same phrase again, and I will raise them up at the last day. Wow, what a promise that the resurrection of Jesus is the guarantee of our resurrection, not just mine, not just yours, but everyone who calls upon the name of the Lord has this promise that Jesus specifically talked about in the Gospel of John. And in fact, in John 6, 44, he says, at the last day, and 10 verses later, in verse 54, he says it again, and I will raise them up 
at the last day. What a glorious and grand promise. Everyone who calls on the name of the Lord, everyone who believes that Jesus is the Son of God, not only gets forgiveness of sin, but has a real, present, tangible hope and promise guaranteed by Jesus that he will raise us up at the last day. True, the Lord's promise to Martha is his promise to us. I am the resurrection and the life. Whoever believes in me, though he were dead, yet shall he live. Thanks for watching Bible on the Go with Dr. Dan. If you like these videos, the best thing you can do is hit that red button called subscribe. It doesn't cost a thing, and you only have to do it once. Praise God!